Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and look what I did. Um, this is my almost entire collection of Arabic fragrances from Arabic brands and these, all of them, are good, okay? Um, now that I've been putting them out of the shelves and, you know, putting them here on a display, like I emptied my whole desk, don't even look, <laughs> uh, but um, as I was sniffing them all, I was like, hmm, some of them are not the most exquisite after a while, so I'm just gonna quickly uh, rate them, share my thoughts with you, but you can be sure that 98% of these fragrances are absolutely phenomenal. Um, we have around 80 fragrances on the desk and uh, there's around maybe 20 that I do not really recommend. So I decided not to put them out here. Uh, but other than that, you can easily go ahead and take this whole Arabic perfume collection as a staple that you should definitely check out. So let's get into it. By the way, I'm very sorry about that cord right here, but uh, otherwise we would have not the best lighting. So we got to roll with it. I know it's not the most aesthetically pleasing, but yeah, here, here we go. Uh, let's start here. Here we have Maison Alhambra Infini Rose, which is a dupe for Atomic Rose. This to me is a solid 9 out of 10, great longevity, and this is very, very close to the original. So that's 9 out of 10. Then I have Orientica Velvet Gold, which is a gorgeous dupe for Gentle Fluidity Gold from MFK. Incredible performance and way better projection comparing to the original, so I would give it 10 out of 10. Next, I have from F.A. Paris. It's Paris Corner brand, I think. Uh, this is Rose Explosion, and this is another dupe for... Oh, there's a fluff in here. The This is another dupe for Atomic Rose from Inicio, and this one I would give 10 out of 10. This is perfection. Uh, I find it to be even stronger than Maison Alhambra, and even closer with all those tiny nuances. So this one is a 10 out of 10 for me. I always wanna have it in my collection. Then an oldie but a goodie. Oh, and by the way, if I have dupes, I will tell you, all right? Not dupes, um, I mean backups. <laughs> if I have backups, I will tell you. This I have a backup of, that's how good it is. This is Razazi Jasmine Wisp, and this is quite similar to Kirke by Tiziana Terenzi, but it's more ambery, more tonka, and coconut. So yeah, it's a passion fruit, ambery, tonka, coconut explosion. I absolutely love it. Super, super strong fragrance. This to me is 10 out of 10. Now, this is definitely, after a while, uh, you need to let it macerate. Uh, but after a while, this is a perfect dupe for Baccarat Rouge, the original, not the extra, but the original. This is Armaf Club de Nuit Untold, and I give it 8 out of 10 just because you do have to wait with it, you know? You have to give it at least a month. So because of that waiting period for it to really, truly show its colors and its beauty, I need to uh, rate it a little bit lower, but in general, great fragrance, great performance, and after some time, it's truly, truly a gorgeous dupe for MFK Baccarat. So that is that. Next, I've got um, Liam Gray from Latifa, and I give it 10 out of 10. Uh, this is definitely infused with a lot of vanilla, so it's a little bit sweeter than the original. Uh, however, I find it to be absolutely phenomenal. Uh, that's why I'm giving it 10 out of 10. Incredible performance. I love it. Next, I've got Frenetic Delicious from Emir. And this, to me, is such a great dupe for Fef Delicious. I will give it 9 out of 10. Uh, just because I've been seeing some comments that on you it's a bit too powdery. But, you know, DOG is powdery to begin with. So, yeah, this is really, really great dupe. If you want Feuve Delicious 
with a great price, then get yourself a meter. To me, 9 out of 10. Then I have my OG. I have a backup of it. And this is my second bottle that I'm going through. Rifaka from Paris Corner. This is a dupe for baby cat. The sexiest vanilla ever. It's peppery. It's wild. It's animalic and sweet. So I love it. 10 out of 10. Incredible scent. You have to get your self this one because this is just amazing um and the next thing that i have is census night and this is a dupe for victoria's secret oud i think it's by the brand hajal and this is beautiful this is very very long lasting it performs it's very feminine like even leaning girly sweet uh it does have some freshness uh, it's fruity and quite sensual. I give it a solid 8 out of 10. Uh, yeah, it's really, really good. Next, I have Zimaya. And this is what? Fatima Velvet Love. And this is very nice. I cannot pinpoint if it's a dupe of anything. But to me, it's great as it is. It is sweet, fruity quite velvety as the name suggests in the dry down if you like feminine scents then you absolutely have to try it it's also a little bit tropical i love it i really really love it it's such an easy fragrance to wear so i give it nine out of ten because not only it's beautiful but also it's quite unique because i cannot really compare it to anything so that is the maya fatima velvet love my nine out of ten Next one, another Emir. This is Cherry Cola. And this is a dupe for Mancera's Tonka Cola. However, to me, this one is not the same. This one is way less uh, fizzy. Not as like bubbly Coca-Cola citrusy in the beginning as Mancera is. But it's beautiful as it is, honestly. Uh, this to me is also 8 5 out of 10 it's really pretty and very very sexy so check it out it's like a darker deeper more seductive sister of tonka cola next i've got another paris corner this is eternal coffee and this is a gorgeous coffee very sweet toffee creamy uh sugary absolutely gorgeous this to me is 10 out of 10 it has decent performance not a beast mode but still very decent so yeah to me this is 10 out of 10 i love the bottle i love everything so that's that next we've got best best dark wood from uh what is it emperor uh and this is my absolute best <laughs> as the name suggests uh dupe for um, my mfk wood satin mood you cannot go better than this one if you want a cheaper alternative the bottle is gorgeous very very reminiscent to the original to me this one is a 10 out of 10 for sure incredible performance this one and speaking of let's go through another dupe that i have for wood satin mood this one is also great. This is Baroque Satin Oud from Maison Alhambra. And this one is not that incredible performer, uh, performer uh, comparing to the Emperor version. Uh, so this one I would give maybe 7.5 out of 10. It's still solid. It's still good. It's still incredibly similar to the original. However, um, I find the Emperor version that I just showed you uh, is even closer and it lasts longer. So that is from Maison Alhambra. Still a great one, uh, but I find Emperor to be better. Next, I've got Vanilla So Sweet from Fragrance World. And as you can imagine, this is a dupe from Guerlain. Uh, Spiritus Double Vanille, to be exact. And this is very similar. However, I find it a bit lighter and more like apple strudel vibe, you know? But it's still very, very similar and it performs very well. The bottle to me is 10 out of 10. Uh, so fragrance itself, I would give maybe 8 out of 10 just because it's not that close to the original, but it's still very, very good. So try it if you love vanilla or if you know that sweet 
uh, apple crumble slash apple strudel, slightly cinnamony vibe, then this is incredible, especially for every day because it's not too deep. So that is Fragrance World. I will try to link everything below. I will try, okay? <laughs> All right, next I have my favorite honey. This is Emir When Soul Gets High. And this is a dupe for Back to Black from Killian. And this is even better in my opinion because it lasts better, it performs better, and it's even more animalic and raw. Uh, the notes are just the same as in the original Back to Black. However, this one, it just, it, it just stole my heart. I love it. Uh, if you like raw animalic honey with some cherry and gingerbread, you will love it. So, so good and so sexy. So that's from Emir. Next one is Nebras from Latifa. And I used to wear it a lot. I don't wear it as much uh, at the moment. Uh, it's not like my, you know, absolute favorite that I cannot live without, but it's very good. And it's a dupe for Billie Eilish, um, the first one that she released. It's a gorgeous, like uh, chocolatey, vanillic, spicy fragrance. A very, very good one, very sweet. Super close to the OG. Uh, I will give it 8.5 out of 10, uh, just because it's not like my absolute favorite DNA, uh, but I find this fragrance to perform incredibly and it's great quality. So 8.5 out of 10 for Nebras. This one, oh my gosh, this is Kahila Lux from Paris Corner. And this is a dupe for Kayali's um amber 23 which is my favorite kayali and this one is so so exactly like it uh if not better because i find it to be even better performing so this to me is 10 out of 10 if you love chocolate nutty cherry um vanilla oud fragrance amber oh you have to try it you absolutely have to try it it has a great price and it's such a stunning scent. So Kahila Lux, my 11 out of 10, truly. So that is that. Next we've got Scepter Oceana from Maison Alhambra. And this is a dupe for uh, Bulgari, the jewel collection. I, again, I forgot again, which is... Um, the exact Bulgari is duping, but this is like a sweet oud, like a vanilla oud with some spices. Very, very nice. It's perfect to mix with other scents if you want a heavier base. Uh, it's gorgeous. So to me, this is a solid 8.5 out of 10. Lovely one with incredible, incredible longevity. So that is that. This one is Affection from Latifa, and this is a dupe for another Kayali, uh, the gelato one, Yam Pistachio Gelato. And this one performs so much better than the original. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. It's creamy, it smells like ice cream pistachio uh, with a little bit of freshness and a little bit of floral tones, but oh, it smells exactly like pistachio gelato. So I love Affection, it's 10 out of 10 for me. Another dupe that I do have for Kayali is this one. This is Kair from Paris Kona, uh, the pistachio one. And this is another dupe for Kayali and pistachio gelato, but this one is a little bit fresher than the Affection. Affection is a bit more creamy, but I love them both. Uh, I might gravitate a bit more towards affection. So this will be 9 out of 10 for me, but still very, very good one. I love it. Okay, next one is from Hajal. And this is Empire Crown. And this is gorgeous, gorgeous citrusy fragrance. It's a sweet citrus, very much unisex. Uh, it's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I think it's a dupe for one of the Louis Vuitton fragrances, if I remember correctly. If you love a citrus scent that's sweet and woody and a bit ambery and lasts forever, then try Empire Crown. It's so, so good. All right, another Hajal. We have La Fed Intoxicate. And this needed some maceration. This is a dupe, I mean, so-called dupe for 
uh, angel's share from Killian. However, this one has coconut and tonka and it's just sweeter, more feminine. It has some slight tropical floral touches as well. To me, it's better than the original, but you have to give it some time. So just because it needed some maceration for me to really love it, uh, I will give it 8 out of 10. But it's absolutely solid. You just have to be a bit patient, just like with this arm off right here. Uh, but it's good, good. All right, so it's 8 out of 10 with very good performance. Next, this one, the more I have it, the less satisfied I am with it. Uh, this is Moosh Ice Age from, what is this brand even? What is this brand? Milestone. Okay. I have it on right now. And I used to wear it quite a bit in winter. And I liked it. Uh, it's a dupe for Amouache lineage. It's not, it's so, so far from it. And I feel like it's getting worse with time. So, I don't know. I'm going to keep you posted, but... I'm starting to slowly like it less and less. So I don't know what to do with it. At first I loved it. Now I'm starting to think, you know, I'm starting to think. So yeah, Mouj Ice Age, not sure about this one. But if you are looking for a lineage dupe, this is definitely not it. It has beautiful bottle, but we're probably... Oh, shit. It has a beautiful bottle. And I loved the scent at first, but I feel like its uh, charm starts to fade away with time. I don't know. Maybe my nose changed. I don't know. I'll keep you posted. Next. This one. Shahav Ud Azraq. Phenomenal honey tobacco scent. Some people say it's a dupe for Montal's uh, honey oud. But I find it to be way better. And it's so, so yummy. It kind of smells like Jack Daniels whiskey, you know? <laughs> but it's incredible. Incredible honey fragrance. Uh, super sexy, super dark. Great on a man and woman. I give it 10 out of 10. So, so good. Even though I don't use it so much because it's very heavy and strong. For the quality, I give it 10 out of 10. Okay. Next, I've got Royal Mask from Al Haramein, and this is by far my favorite clean mask. It has some beeswax to it. It has some beautiful Elang, if I remember correctly. It's just gorgeous, very similar to Prada La Femme. However, it performs 10 times better. It has amazing performance. So for the price, you cannot go wrong. I love it. 10 out of 10. Next, we've got Kalis Zina. Guys, I know it's very, very hard to find these days. It's been sold out everywhere. I do have a backup of it. This is one-to-one -one dupe for Angel's Iced Star from Mugla. Long discontinued. This is your fresh piña colada in a bottle. So beautiful. This is my favorite, favorite summer fragrance. It's incredible. Just amazing. So Kalis Zina, if you can get it. Don't even think about it. Just purchase. That's that. 20 out of 10. Truly, it's just to die for. So Kalizina, the best out of all of them, I feel like. It's so good. All right. Next, I have Avenue London from Granda. And this is a dupe for Greenwich Village from Bon Number 9. Beautiful, fresh, uh, Baccarat Rouge-esque vibe but fruity and citrusy it's so nice i would say it has mild projection with moderate performance overall but it's so worth having because bond is so expensive and this one is one to one some of you already bought it and say that is amazing and i agree it's incredible so avenue london i would give it 8.5 just because it doesn't um, you know, project as loud as I would want to. But the scent wise, it's incredible. So that's Avenue. Next, I have Orientica. And this is Melody the Orientica. And this is a cross between Memo Sintra and Love Don't Be Shy. It is green, but it's very sweet, like honeysuckle, orange blossomy. Um, marshmallowy it's beautiful and it performs so incredibly well uh such a good good lasting power and 
you know, projection. It's so good. So I would give it solid 8.5 out of 10, just because just like Sintra, it's a bit like sharp green on me. Um, but other than that, you know, when it comes to quality, it's 10 out of 10. It's just the scent that, you know, I have to be in a mood for. So I would say it's like 8.5 out of 10, but it's honestly such a great quality of a scent. So if you want Sintra or Love Don't Be Shy, get this instead. If you do uh, like, you know, sharper petty grain notes, if you don't mind them, then you will love it. All right, next I've got Mystique Bouquet from Afnan. And this is a dupe for Valaya from Parfums de Marley. And I love it. It's incredible. Uh, such a good performance. Uh, to me, this is 10 out of 10. Uh, it doesn't have Akigala wood. It has Mahonio instead. Um, so the dry down is slightly different than the original. Uh, however, I do adore it, if not more than Valaya. So to me, it's 10 out of 10. It lasts forever. It's so fresh and a bit citrusy. It's a bit fruity, a bit floral. It's just perfect for every day. It can be your signature spring scent easily. So yeah, great one from Afnan. Next, we're getting into the red now. Uh, Rose on one from Swiss Arabian. Phenomenal cross between the Lina and Atomic Rose. The performance is exquisite. It's your sweet, sweet, sweet ambery rose uh, with slight fruity touches. It's just incredible. The only downside look what's happening to my bottle and it's my second bottle and it's been like that uh since the first one so there's some mishap with the cap here but for the price you cannot go wrong this is incredible 10 out of 10 for me with maybe that slight uh you know maybe a point down because of the cap i will give it 9.5 out of 10 because this is not the first bottle that's you know, it's happening to. So I would give it 9.5 out of 10, but the scent, gorgeous, gorgeous. If you love rose, what are you waiting for? It's the best. All right. Next, I have Harim Al Sultan from Hajjal. And this is the EDP version of the oil. And this is so beautiful. It's ambery, it's sweet, it's sugary and fruity. I love it. Uh, good performance. I give it a solid 9 out of 10. You know, it's so, so good. I love it. I love wearing this. Uh, yeah, sugary, sweet, tropical, ambery, lovely, just lovely. So I love the EDP. Uh, I actually do have the oil right here, but we'll get to it. So the next one is Latafa Sakina. And I like it very much. It's like praline, fruity, uh, with some depth. It's very sweet, very feminine. It does have some darkness. I personally love it. I love the bottle. The price is ridiculous. So I would give it a good 8.5 out of 10 just because of its sweetness. Um, it leans maybe a little bit juvenile and also you do have to be in the mood for it, you know, because it's very praline sweet, but it's gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So yeah. All right, next dupe for Baccarat. This is a solid one. Uh, this is Orientica Amber Rouge, and I give it 10 out of 10. This, there's nothing wrong with it. It's incredible, just incredible. Didn't need maceration. It was perfect from the get-go. I love it. It does have more sweetness than the original, um, so you can maybe think of it as a cross between the Extrait and the OG, but to me, 10 out of 10. I will always have it in my stash. And next one, another Orientica. This is Rosé de Orientica. And this, I would say, is a um, creamy dupe of Rose's Mask from Montal with slight, slight, slight Delina touches as well. So yeah, you can think of it like that. It's a mix of Rose's Mask and Delina from Montal. Um, I mean, the Lina from Parfums de Marley, but Rose's Mask from Montal. And I give it 9 out of 10. The performance is incredible and the scent is lovely. So if you like sweet, creamy roses, then this one is phenomenal. And 
And then we have free Swiss Arabian. Here is Oud 07, which is a perfect soft version, a very wearable version of Oud Bouquet. Not so sweet and not so strong. I love this one. Then we have Amber 07, which is a sweet amber with dates. Beautiful, beautiful Middle Eastern, but a very contemporary take on amber. I love it. And all of these in these bottles perform like no others. So if you love amber, sweet amber, you have to have amber 07. And uh, these two are definitely unisex, but they're sweet enough that can be called even feminine, you know? Uh, next, I have Musk 07, and this is your perfect pomegranate woody musk. I love it. It's fruity, musky, uh, as I said, woody as well. Performs so good. Uh, I give it a solid, solid 10 out of 10. It's so nice. And uh, these ones, I don't know if I rated them, did I? Uh, but both of them, I would give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. Um, then we've got, what do we have here? Maison Alhambra Narcotic Flower. It's very similar to the original. Well, this is very similar to Ex Nihilo Fleur Narcotique that it's duping. I find it to be too like sweet dense, quite like artificial sweet. Not the biggest fan, okay? Uh, it's still a solid, great for the price, but I will give it 7 out of 10. It's not my favorite, uh, but it's so good, all right? So don't get me wrong, I still recommend it, but um, especially for the price. Uh, but I don't think uh, that the ingredients and the quality is like top notch, you know? It's not, but it's good. So 7 points, no, 7 out of 10. Let's give it 7 out of 10. Okay, guys, I think we're going to do these two green ones to be done with the blue greens. And I think we need to make it into another video because this is going to be too long, don't you think? Yeah, let's do it. Here I have Trust from Hajal, uh, and this is their anniversary fragrance. It is very beautiful. It's like this citrus, sweet, aromatic scent with a lot of woody tones. To me... On me, it leans quite masculine, but the quality is incredible. Look at the cap. It's so heavy. Very, very good fragrance. So because it leans masculine, you know, it's not particularly for me, but I give it a solid 7 out of 10 if you want something great for your partner with a great price. It has... um a box that's very similar to Zerzhov boxes. So yeah, you know, like the performance and the presentation, top notch. Very good one. And last for today, we've got this. This is Latifa Maillard Natural Intense. One of the best fresh fragrances when it comes to Arabic brands, truly. This is coconut water. This is fig. This is like C notes, it's like breezy, you know, but it performs incredible. To me, this one is 10 out of 10 uh, when it comes to those fresher scents. Absolutely gorgeous. This is new release from Latifa and it's worth every penny. I love it. So that's Mayar, 10 out of 10. And we are done with this part. So I'm hoping that we've done half. Uh, I'm sure there's around 30 or 40 fragrances in this batch. And we're going to move on to these in the next video, which I'm going to post very soon. So stay tuned. Again, I'll try to link everything for you below. If I didn't, it means I couldn't find it. Okay, that's the only reason, reason the link would not be there. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and see you in part two of this shebang. Love you guys.